Uh, hey, uh, my name is Nutricity. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today in this video, I'll be talking about the five kinds of Smash players that I see in my, um, my Georgia scene. Now, this video was inspired by a guy called Inferno Omni. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. He's pretty, pretty funny. And he really inspired me to, you know, try to make out these five players that I see. Because I see the ones that he's made, but I got some that, you know, I've seen, and that's the purpose of this video. So, enjoy the show. Let me get to the number one on my list. I call this guy the One Day Smasher. Now, the One Day Smasher, one day he's going to come to a tournament. One day he's going to learn this super duper technique to beat everybody. One day this, one day that. One day, one day never comes, you know, one day might come, maybe, every blue moon in June, you know, but it doesn't, it doesn't happen often. So I can't really talk about this, you know, Smasher too much, because I don't see him, I don't know him, because one day he's going to come out, you know? And that's pretty much it for the one day Smasher. Alright, number three on my list, I call him Elliot. Now he is not a Jim or a John, because I feel like... Those terms didn't really, you know, fit him, so I decided to call him Elliot because the man literally takes all the L's. This is the kind of guy that'll go to a regional, um, round one, he'll have zero, and in losers, he'll have like the buzz or something because dude can't catch a break. Even in the local scene, you know, round one, scat, and losers, um, reflex or um, wrath or something like that. Okay, another thing about Elliot, um, they necessarily don't have to be bad or, you know, new players. Um, these kind of players, they can be, you know, your mid or your high level players. And, you know, they will be at Elliot in the case that, you know, the one person that can beat them in the tournament, they fight them and, you know, winner semis. And then, you know, they get bought by them that time, they go into loser's bracket, and then they meet the same person, that only person that can beat them again, and, you know, loser's court finals or you know something like that and now your Elliot he may take it well and just say you know bad luck for me or he may just be you know salty troll start blaming characters or you know just for his essential bad luck that's basically an Elliot alright number three on my list I call him the big fish small pond smasher now you'll find this guy beating up on people that relatively don't do well in the bracket but you know a better player comes by and they they, you know, they vanish. They they don't want to play anymore. They're tired of the game. You know, they're they're gone. Kind of like. Now this kind of player, he loves beating on people that he knows don't stand much much of a challenge to him. This kind of player, he loves beating up on people that are, you know, below his skill level because it really does fill his ego, it fills his confidence, it makes him feel better about himself and what he's doing. Now this kind of player, he could be telling the people he beats what they're doing wrong so they can learn and they can improve, so that would in turn help him improve, but he's not really about that. It's all about his ego, his confidence, just making sure he catches as few L's as possible. And number four. This next player is what I like to call the starving player. He's always starving and hungering for, you know, more experience in the game. He'll challenge anyone from top to bottom to mid to 0-2 in bracket five times in a row to, to anyone he can get his hands on. Because all, all these battles, these, these wins, losses, all they do is give him experience. This kind of smasher gradually, you know, he improves over time. And I think that's, you know, a real positive, you know, trait to have. To be, you know, kind of starving smasher. We don't have many of those around, but we got a, we got a couple. Man. It's good to see them when they come out. All right, thank you for sticking with me. But um, without further ado, I'll get to this last player. I call him the protagonist. Now, the protagonist is pretty much more or less a drama queen. 
whenever they win, you know, it's a real, it's not even like a kind of pop off kind of thing. It's just really exciting or just phenomenal for them. But when they lose, they, they act like they're Yugi when he lost to Kaiba the first time or... Oh, something doesn't feel right. Or some other protagonist in a shonen that, you know, took a L for the first time and it gets really dramatic. And these kind of people, they, they may rage or they may just, you know, get real drama queen or, you know, just real dramatic on you. But I find them to be the most entertaining. Because if they're good people and you, you want to see them win, it does, you know, kind of hype you up, you know. It does feel like going, you know, trying to level up. But, you know, sometimes if you don't like them and you want them to lose, then you better grab your popcorn and hope you're going to be in the background of a GR Smash video. Protagonist. I honestly like to thank you for, you know, sticking around this long. If you made it to the end, thank you. Just, you know, means means a lot. I'm still a work in progress. I got this new camera I'm trying to work on. I'm doing this editing thing that I'm trying to work on. And, you know, I'll get better as I practice. And if I don't practice, I won't get better. Just like in the video games, you know what I mean? So, hopefully I can, you know, stick with that and then you'll see more from the channel. I'll aim to do less videos like this because this really is, you know, hopping on the style of Omni and other people that do this kind of thing. I know that I can write skits and do something basically different, so I'm going to try to do something basically different. But, you know, say it happened to be a rainy day and I was feeling creative, so it is what it is. But, thank you for watching. Comment, like, whatnot. Whatnot means to subscribe and later. Catch me outside, how about that?